Our plan of action for next weekend, which is our next practice, will be working and focusing on the pyramid and on the dance at the end of the routine. The pyramid has already been set up because we've been working on a lot of those skills that will be incorporated into the pyramid. But it takes a great deal of time because it involves all 24 people that will be out on the mat to actually have a part and learn synchronization and counts. So that's what we'll be working on next practice. Go to your jump. Everyone. My name is Debbie Love and I've been in shear for 47 years. I would say my fields of expertise are in injury prevention, conditioning, flexibility, sports psychology, and tumbling. Okay, mark this jump real quick. You just rolled in. You already did the roll. Hit with your motion on seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, hit four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, all that was right there was basket. Something's not right. Right now, we do not have a pyramid to work with, but once we get a pyramid, I think we'll be fine as well. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna start that tonight at practice. <laughs> What? He wants it right after that. Where they marked the scorpion double down? Yeah. Nine, eight counts before that. Scorpion double down would be the pyramid. And then a scorpion double down. And then the jump. We need to do the pyramid right there. I'm not sure exactly what type of pyramid we're going to be doing, but I think it'll be something creative and something that nobody has ever done before. Yes, I love those. We're gonna one and a half it up. Yeah. We've had bits and pieces, but we haven't put the whole thing together yet. Ooh. Now you need to make sure you're on his leg differently because your toe wasn't on his leg. Yeah, kind of like a. Come on, speed camp. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. See how smart. Yeah. Kaylin is really gonna do a really good job with getting the pyramid together. I mean, we have a lot of strong guys on the team, and all the girls, for the most part, have very, very good body control. Like a full up grip. Yeah. And we need to get her. Um, this, it'll almost be like a double up grip. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost going to be like a double up grip. So your foot's going to be like this way a little bit, offering to give him. And then he'll, he'll spin, you'll full up, and he will half up. And that will create a one and a half, and you'll get to the top and fold it down. Kaylin's awesome. He always does something crazy with the pyramid, and he's already starting to just go off. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Like, it'll look good. Just stand up. Now, remember, you're not flipping at the end. You're just, she's just falling off to her belly, so guys will be ready to catch. But it's got Jarrell in them, too. It should be fine. Yeah, Jarrell should be able to get in stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is probably the craziest pyramid I've ever done, really. So I'm excited for it, you know. Five, six, seven, eight, push off, two, three, four, kick, five, fold, six, seven. Yes. That was, that was the best one. Yeah, that was good. Honestly, pyramids are my favorite part, and that's usually the most stressful part of a routine because it takes everyone working together and communicating for it to work and hit. And if one person's off key, it can ruin up all 24 of you on the floor. Yeah, you'll go up, go up and over and really use your hips to spin. She's going to kind of have you um, this way. Is that the way I said, yeah? Oh, um, yeah. And then she's going to kind of lift you, and you're going to go up and just nice high around, and you're going to land back in a sponge. Am I in like a... Yeah, it's going to be like a side tuck, like a... One, two. Dip, go up and over, and back away. It's going to be nice and pretty and high. Come on, Frankie.
Okay, a lot more toss, like 62,000 more feet higher. Oh, this is not gonna be no basic pyramid. Uh uh. This is gonna be an outrageous pyramid for sure. Get in a handstand. Now take your this hand off the ground and turn. Boom. But it's gonna go okay. a longer distance. Yeah. Oh, so we're landing upside down? Yeah, you're starting upside down and finishing upside down. You're literally just going from one group to the other group. It has a lot of excitement, it has a lot of skill in it, and we're, we're really working hard to make sure that it's what everybody wants to see and we're like the crowd favorite this year. So from here, put her down. They're gonna toss you. She's gonna kinda like lift your leg up. You're going up and then you're gonna dive to them. Yeah, yeah. And, but land inverted. And they can toss you up from, yeah, they don't have to toss you from your hands. There's only two of them. If I was in charge of the pyramid, <laughs> I don't know if that would be a good thing or not. There'd be new elements that no one has seen before. You know, cool transitions, inversions, twisting, flips, everything. Just basically tossing the girls up like rag dolls. I just hope I don't get like thrown like a rag doll just everywhere. I'm hoping they do some flips, some spins while they come down. I, I, ugh. And, hey, we're full twisting ours. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> If I was in charge of the pyramid, I'd probably have girls flying every single direction possible. Going over, under, in between. Is that possible? No, not really, but make it work. <laughs> Jump, just do the helicopter for now. Just do that part. You're going that way. Yeah, and five, six, seven, eight, dip, one throw, three, catch, five. There we go. Um, I like when people go upside down and like do stuff on the floor and then get back in the air, so something like that. I would be launching girls across the mat like a rocket ship. <laughs> so, Day Day or Sean, whichever one of you all. Now, this needs to travel. Toss her up, we're going to hand in hand. You all help me catch it. Ready? And five, six, seven, eight, toss her legs. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Got me? Throwing people around, keeping it innovative, keeping it creative, keeping it eye-catching, and being the best at doing everything that we do. You always want something to be going on in the pyramid, and you always want a wow factor in your pyramid. Flyers, make sure you're really getting over your back spot so they can get on top. Hold up on her legs, yeah. Frontwards, yeah, that's right. Keep your arms locked, ladies. Five, six, seven, eight. One, uh, three, five. Oh, Lord. The Atlanta Showcase is very important for this team because it's our very first time at like a real competition competing. It's also our very first time that we're in line for a paid bid, which is very, very important because if we get it there, then Dallas and the rest of the competitions are just fun for us. Again. Here we go. One, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, dip on one, two, three, four, five. Yes. It's really exciting there, just teams all over the place. You know, it's just the epitome of cheerleading. If we go out there, kill it, and get the bid, it'll take a little stress off of every athlete's mind, any, including coaches, so then we can focus more on sparking the routine up a little bit more, giving a little bit more jazz. We're all older, and we have been cheering for a while, so I'm pretty sure we'll pull it together and give a good performance. The work ethic on the actual team is amazing, and that's the one thing that drives me to come to every practice with a positive attitude. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, one. It's two eight counts too long. Okay. So let's try the whole thing with music once and just see where we're Try right. it with music, please. Go to the beginning. I'm very excited to be showcasing soon. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to get out there and let everybody see us and what we've been working on. Yeah.
What's this formation? I am excited about the first showcase. A little nervous just because it's our first time being together out on the floor. Blink's first competition. It's our first time to step on the mat and do our routines. We haven't done anything out in a performance setting, so it's really going to test everybody on the team to see where we stand. It's been nine months since I've performed, so I'm really excited to be back on the team again. I'm a little bit overwhelmed just because I am getting thrown in a week before the performance, so I just have to perform at my best and be able to throw all the skills that are in the routine. I'm more excited to see what's going to happen at the showcase, to see if we're going to hit or if we're going to flop. I think we'll be ready as a team for the showcase. I think by the first showcase we're going to have their routine down and the choreography down and, and go out there and kill it. You're going to hit two, three. Six. On four, you're going to step forward and hit four. Four. So you step, hit, down, and hit. Yeah. I don't feel like we're fully ready yet. Here. What we have of the choreography right now, I think everyone's still trying to get used to the different places where they go on the mat and taking the right path to get to that place without bumping into someone. I'm ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, go one, hit two, hit three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, go one, two, three, and four, hit five, and six, go seven, and eight, it's five, spin six, you like spun on five. I think as a whole, we have our choreography pretty much down. I've heard it looks amazing from the outside looking in, but even on the inside it feels amazing because again, we have each other's support the entire time we're out there. Not gonna lie, I don't really know all of the choreography because sometimes I have to ask people like, what do we do here? But a lot of people have the choreography down. Ready? Now boys in the front, you look like giant barbarians. You need to make sure that when you go to that like Little Mermaid part, that your feet are pointed. Barbarian. <laughs> Ready? The team has our choreography mostly done. We just need a dance. Hey, listen. At the end of this, you roll, you do seven, eight, whatever it is, you will hold that position because I want to make sure that the formations on the outsides are even. So do not move. I dare you to move. I dare you to move. I feel the routine has came a long way. We have a lot of good performers on the team, so we're going to give you a show. I'm really excited to get our pyramid and our dance because our dance song is awesome this year. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, hit two, head down, head up. Thank God, Macy, you can dance. Go one, hit two, God, Macy. Five, six, Macy. Macy. The best thing about you is that once you get it, it's going to be fine. I just cannot stand you when you're learning that. Besides that, the rest of the routine, I think it's, it's going to be amazing. So ladies, leave your head up on the, on the whip part on eight. So it goes seven, you whip, and then down and ten. Yeah. You guys are here. Oh yeah, you still do that. So turn around. So you just pivot around on that foot. Okay. Come on. One and two. You spin the other way, dear. So, one, hit, two, on three. I want you to play with your hair. Three and four. You're going to scoot in. One, hit. Let's do one, one, hit, two. And then you're going to scoot in. Three and four. And you hit, your butt goes in, in twice. Wow. Got it. I think that we will make it work for the showcase. No matter if we have to change something, we're very good at changing things last minute at that. We've all been in this industry for a very long time, so we know how to adapt to change, and that's something with being in this gym, it really prepares us to do. Traley, why'd you move your feet, dude? You're killing me. You should be down. Nine times out of 10 when you go and compete, it, nothing is ever perfect, and you always have to figure it out. Five, six. I want to see your hands on five, yeah? I think when time comes, uh, gym time knows how to push and get everything together. On seven, ladies, you're going to pop your left toe. Seven. Your left toe. 
That's your left toe. Point it forward, it's gonna be seven and eight. So you're gonna bop, bop, like that. Chin up on that severely. Legs and hit and boop, chin up, like that. Okay. Obviously, every team doesn't want to fall apart the first time that they're out, so it's very important for us to look good and look our best and do everything 100% in order to, one, get, let everyone see what we've been doing and working on, and two, to get paid bid. Hey, we're back, Spider? Is the full kick pull? <laughs> this is a kick, kick double, probably. She already does. Only Kessler does. Oh, that's right. Well, whatever. I don't care what they are, really. Yeah, whatever. Whatever we, whatever we can do together. The sections I know I'm struggling in, or is the hardest I would say for me, I make my group or my partner do it every time. So when we add in tumbling or when we add in the rest of the routine, we're not gonna be as winded or as tired. We're gonna actually look like we are still alive. This team isn't filled with anybody who doesn't know what they're doing. Most of the people on the team have been cheering for a really long time. They can easily pull it together. It'll be easy as long as everybody puts in the work. You're gonna slide it around on three, three and four. Are you alright? You almost I feel like you almost broke your leg. So it goes one, hit, two, and then you take your front leg, swing it around three, and then we replace it and wait, mine's in the wrong spot. No, you're right, you just have the wrong that leg needs to be out to the corner. I'm personally preparing for the showcase by giving my all into every single practice. It's not good to go into practice and not go full out. Boom. Hit. Kick. That's one thing that I always do when I come into practice is always just give my all no matter what. Yes, I think we're going to be ready for cheer sport. We'll be ready for cheer sport, but a lot of it depends on what we get done within the next three weeks, definitely, and how much we all put into the practices. That is three, understand? So dips one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, catch, and wham, right to it. Oh my god, you should double down. <laughs> That's one thing that us as gym time, we do really well in is we always show out and perform whenever we're in front of a crowd. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, hit three and four, go five and six, hit seven and eight, one, hit two, hit three and four, five, six, seven, eight, down one, up two, go three and four, five and six, hit seven and eight, go one, two, three and four, hit five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. There should be one, up two, hit three, right away. I have faith in this that we'll have everything down. We'll definitely make sure that it's it's fun and it, it, it looks good. When you get one shot, treat it like a competition. We all got a good performers on the team, so we're going to give you a show. When it's time to turn it on, it's time to turn it on. I'm Michael Eddie Rivera. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Camarillo, California, and I'm a bass. Right now, I think as a team, we're all going into cheer sport a lot confident. Actually, this is only my second time being a cheer sport. I actually got added on to this team last Friday. We've had practice every day for the past week getting ready for cheer sport. A week ago, I had to take an ice bath. Pretty sore. Well, our bodies are all feeling it right now, but I think we're going to be great. The only thing I'm nervous about is the pyramid. I think we can do it. I'm excited.